All right, today we are going to be doing an image reveal and text animation with GSAP. So this, as I said, this animation is going to have an image and text underneath. Arrange it however you like, but both will be animated with GSAP. And it is a little bit less of a dazzling animation is a little bit more subtle if you're going for a more subtle look for a website design. So let's get started. All right, so I have added a container on the hero section. So we have scrolling space. Obviously, we will need some space top and bottom for the animation, especially top, uh, for the animation to work. So keep that in mind. Okay, so I'm going to add a container right below this container. And this uh, container will have a height of, let's say, hmm, let's go to 50%, 50 VH. Yeah, we'll leave it like this and we'll see if we need to increase the height. All right, I will leave it as box because I want the images to be a little bit more tight on the screen. And I'm going to add two containers. So these two containers will each contain an image and text. So one was, will be on the left and one be, will be on the right. Let's add container and also this container will stay box and we are going to add an image let's move this out of the way an image in here let's go to choose an image i will go with this one and i will also change the width of this image to a custom width of 35 or or 40 let's keep it at 40 Obviously, you have to style it, add everything that you need to add here. Let's say width 100%, max width 100% as well. And the height, it is all up to you. And obviously, let's switch it to VH and let's try again. Let's say 50 and contain. Um, yeah, I will go a bit higher. Um, let's go to 70. All right so this is what you have to do all right and underneath this container i am going to add a text heading and let's see is it in here yeah everything is in the container all right so i'm gonna say image oops, image one actually i will go and copy the style of this Heading here, this style. Okay, so let's move the heading to the start and let's decrease the size. I think 3.5 is good. Okay, so for now, uh, this is what we have. All right, so what I will do, I will duplicate this container so not to waste any time. But what I will do, I will move the, I will align the items at the end uh, as well, uh, our um, heading and I'm going to say image two, so we can distinguish between the two of them. Let's also change this image. So we have something else on the page. I will go with this one. All right. I think it's looking pretty good. Let's publish and we are ready to bring in the code. And for that, I'm going to simply drag in an HTML container in here. I'll drag it in here and I'm going to bring in my code. All right. It is a lot of code, but it's not that daunting. The only things that you will need to change is the classes here if you want not the tag, the HTML tag that remains intact, let's say, because that is what we are using to call the image. Otherwise, it's not going to work. So these two are this, this part and this part are for the image animation. And the last part is animating the heading. And it is a P. If you notice here, the tag for the text is a P. We will change it to a P. A paragraph as you can see we have these classes here which we need to add to let me just copy them both make sure that you add them in the container not the image so let's go to the container and i'm gonna drop it in here so yeah no now you will not see the 
image but you will see it on preview and it's gonna be great so as you can see i already added it here let's go to check it out this will be left because the second image container is on the left obviously you can change it to whatever you want depending on how you arranged it on the page but this is where you have to add these classes otherwise the text and the image will not work in sync this does not need to be added in as a class or anything because it's not a class it's an html tag which is shown in the code if you go to inspect the page and now we can have a preview and i will come back to the code to explain a little bit more as we have some more options all right so image text coming in image text coming in all right so if we go back and we scroll again the image and text actually not the text but only the image animating again if you don't want this to happen let's go to our to our code and as you can see we have the option to turn on once animate once basically trigger only once the animation on scroll for all of them okay and this should work as intended so let's go see all right all right that is happening and that's it because sometimes this can be annoying if you are on the page and going up and down on the page to look for information read and look at pictures it can be quite tiresome so keep that in mind that it's possible all right of course this works on mobile and i'm not gonna show you the mobile version but work it out for yourself and as you can see uh, for the images and as well for the text we have uh, a start of the animation and as you know by now the start of the animation can be could be here or here depending on the values that we give to this animation to start and to end too. So our animation starts 75% of the page and it ends at the bottom 100%. So does the second image as well as the start of the text animation starts at the bottom 90%. If you add the markers to see where the animation starts and ends, you will understand. So let me just add markers true. And let's do it here as well. And here. Oh, yeah. Okay. Here we go. So it starts here. And then we scroll. And now the, the second animation, which is the text, starts here. So this is 75% start. And this is 90%. And if you want to increase and decrease, you just figure out yourself what values to use. For example, let's say we want it to start at 50% of the page. So that's going to be at the middle of the page. Let's publish. That is for the image only. So let's see. As you see, it's changed. It moved up at the middle of the page. Now our animation will not start until here. Keep an eye. As you can see, it's starting already. And the second one, and it ends. And now comes in the text. This is how you adjust the values for the start and end of the animation for both image and text. That is it for today. I hope it was useful. As usual, the code will be in the description below. If you have any questions, please ask. If not, thank you for watching. Also, if you want, you can turn this off, delete them after you have changed the values and you don't need them anymore. If you'd like to see what else you can build with Elementor, watch this playlist here or here. And if you have gotten any value out of this video, please consider subscribing, liking and sharing this video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.